Welcome, I'm Jack Hackett, Solo Consultant and creator of the Solo Consultant Masterclass. Thank you for joining me on the first of my three free training videos. It's really great to have you here. And if you're here, you've either recently started your solo consulting business or you're thinking seriously about making the move. Maybe you're looking for some advice and guidance to get you started on the right track. Maybe you're feeling a bit overwhelmed by the learning curve you face. Or maybe your solo consulting business is struggling and you want some help to bring things back on track. Or it might be that things are going pretty well for you, but you're just feeling a bit isolated because you've gone from being surrounded by colleagues and support systems to working alone. And so you're looking for some way to connect with another solo consultant. Whichever one of these reasons applies to you, you're in the right place. But before we head into the training, I want to take the opportunity to tell you a bit about myself and my own experience of starting out as a solo consultant. So around 16 years ago, I was in the process of contemplating my next career move. I'd thrived on moving around quite a bit in my career and I was looking for my next challenge. And I was discussing this over coffee with a woman I'd come to know in the course of my work over the previous year. She was a woman I really admired. She was a highly respected consultant in the public health sector, which was my field. Ruth was also a woman I really liked. Not only did I respect her, but she was also warm and wise and had a great sense of humour. So I was talking with her about some of the options I was thinking about for my next role when she said to me, have you ever considered consulting? Well, I have to say that up to that point, I hadn't. But once she put the seed into my mind, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was really excited, but also pretty terrified at the same time. It felt risky to consider not being employed. You know, my sons were still in high school, I had a mortgage, access to sick leave if I needed it. So there was a lot to think through. But Ruth also told me that she had been on the lookout for someone she could mentor. She was keen to find someone new to work with on some larger projects. Ideally, she wanted someone she could mould in the nicest possible way into the right kind of consultant. In essence, if she found someone she felt she could work well with, she was ready to pass on what she knew and she felt that that person might just be me. So with the safety net of Ruth as my mentor, I decided to take the plunge. And after a couple of projects working with Ruth as her junior colleague, she then held my hand through my first solo projects and was a really generous mentor. Over time, we became great consulting colleagues and we would join forces from time to time to work on larger projects, going back to our solo projects in between. So that's how I got started. And consulting has been very, very good to me. And it's a move I've never regretted. It's given me more flexibility, more income, really interesting and challenging work, and still allowed me to contribute to the public sector, which is very important to me. But I want to acknowledge that it's not easy to take the plunge and go it alone. I was so lucky to have a mentor, but I know that most new, new consultants don't have that. Ruth has now happily retired, and so now it's my turn to pass on what I've learned over the last 16 years. In this first video training, I'm going to deal with one of the most common fears that new consultants have, and that's how to win business. You know, every new consultant worries about this, and I definitely worried about it in the early days. What if I don't get my next project? How do I get my name out there and get on people's radar? How do I find out about project opportunities? How do I make my proposal stand out from the competitors? These are the kind of questions that keep new consultants up at night. So in this first training, I'm going to give you five strategies to help you overcome this first hurdle of winning business. So let's dive right in.